guys and welcome to my channel so today you guys we're gonna be doing a uh, video that's a little bit different we're gonna be talking about feminine hygiene and just you know my routine for staying fresh you know during the spring and summer because you know it's getting hot so you know that perfume ain't gonna cover up no funk so we're gonna talk about staying fresh and clean okay so before we get started, you guys, go ahead and make sure that you are subscribed to my channel. Make sure that you are following me on Instagram and make sure that you like this video. And if you don't like this video, you can go ahead about your business. So, yes, y'all, today your girl's showing a little mm -hmm, clavicle. You know, I like to show a little clavicle sometimes. I think the little clavicle bones be sexy. But, yeah, I got on a shirt. You just can't see it. Today, I got all kind of tips. I got all kind of hacks like we we all women we mature so we gonna get right on into the nitty gritty okay we gonna talk about everything all right let's get started first of all you guys um that perfume and stuff that's cool or whatnot you gotta start with a fresh base start fresh your perfume don't even really smell the same it don't even perform the same if you're not even clean like that's like that's a fact so i'm gonna tell y'all how to just stay clean and fresh all day long this is the stuff that i do okay don't be in the comments talking stuff if you think that it ain't gonna work for you this works for me all right so really you need three three washcloths or whatever to clean yourself one for the cootie one for the body one for the face and the reason why i say one for your cootie cat is because it's sensitive i don't use anything that is fragranced to clean myself down there so i'm gonna tell you what i use so i have my wash rag i use this is what i use to clean myself this is the sensitive skin don't get this confused with the um the dove pure or just like the regular white one um the dove white that one is fragrance it has a very heavy perfume smell the sensitive one is the only one that doesn't have any fragrance so this is what i use i've used so many different things y'all can't come over here and tell me they say you ain't supposed to use none but some uh some fresh spring water to clean up i'm 34 years old this is what works y'all this works for me i don't have no problems with it once you get to using like um badger seal and all those washes, like, first of all, they're expensive, and a lot of times they fragrance. They throw your pH balance off. I don't fool with it. But what I do use is the Dove, okay, sensitive skin. So I use that. And then for my body, I use a, um, what is this called? I guess it's called, like, a, a body scrubber. It's long. This is the one I've been using, so... I ain't had no new one trying to show y'all all what it looked like. It might have some hers and shit in it. I don't know. <laughs> but, um, so that's what I use on my body. And I use that because it exfoliates. It's like an exfoliating scrubber for your body. It's long. You can get your back. And, um, y'all, the one that I have right now, that one is a little too hard. I got it from Walmart. It's like they don't sell the one I used to use. Uh, that one I mainly use for my feet. Cause it's really hard like that one is really hard it's gonna get your bottom of your feet this one right here um i gotta buy me a new one for my body because i left it in vegas the other one that i had but you don't want it too hard you're gonna get used to it uh when you first start using them they do feel a little rough but your body is gonna get used to it like if i don't use it i don't really be feeling clean if i don't use like the scrubber and then like underneath your arms that deodorant build up and all of that that gotta come off and it don't come off with no wash rag you gotta use an exfoliating rag an exfoliating uh rag like this scrubber because i don't like no residue left on me or nothing i want to be clean all right so yeah and this is this is one of my favorite body washes this is the uh olay ribbons i was telling y'all about that in my last live video these are my favorite um all of them smell good. I don't really have a favorite scent because they all, I can't even, I can't even pinpoint which one is my favorite. That's how good they all smell. They have a pink one, a blue one, a yellow one, and a purple one. 
they all smell fire this is the purple one this one smells fire this smells so good y'all like these do not like i'm picky about my body wash because a lot of them will leave you so stripped and dry when you get out this one um i like body washes that are uh creamy like this one is creamy but it still lathers good some of the creamy ones don't even lather like this is a good one y'all and another thing about these um little rags here you don't need a whole bunch of body wash when you just put a little bit on there and it's gonna lather real good so yeah this is what is this one this is a um, shea and labrador oil it's I don't know, it smells so good. The honey one smells good. It's like another one. It's like a, a rose or something. They don't irritate me down there. I don't use it on my uh, vagina or, no, or nothing. I don't use it down there. But if y'all, if the water and stuff and all the, um, you know, all of the suds go down your body, it's still going to probably get down there. And some body washes I cannot use because they just too, too strong. This one, I don't have no problems with. Okay. So that's that. Okay. So um, when I get out of the shower or whatever, um, I have another video on how I layer my lotions and the body oils. So this is more about just like hygiene stuff. So I ain't got to really talk about all that or whatever, but I'm going to tell you guys what deodorant and stuff I use. Because I can't use every deodorant. My body gets used to deodorant Um, if, if I've been using it. Like, I'll use it for a couple years and then I see like it ain't working. Um, and so, I've changed deodorant. So, Y'all, I had went from like regular secret to like degree. Yeah, the degree for men. Because that secret wasn't working for me no more. I'm like, I'm going to get some degree I don't care I ain't gonna be musty so I got some uh some degree I used that for like two or three years it stopped working too but I'll tell you I'm gonna tell you guys what I really really like and what works this stuff lasts all day like this is the secret clinical strength um I use this and I love it it lasts like it really does keep you dry and um you know how they tell you like stress sweat stress sweat smells different than regular sweat because i've seen that in a um a secret commercial but it's really true with you like um have anxiety and you sweating like that like i don't know it smells different but this keeps all everything just dry because i sweat a lot you guys i'm gonna tell y'all something you know what i was looking um i was on facebook or instagram and I saw a product called Loom. And Loom is like a body deodorant. And Loom is where you're supposed to kind of like put it in your intimate areas and it keep you fresh. I'm going to tell y'all something. I was sitting there thinking, it ain't nothing but regular, like, I've been doing it. I be thinking, I be seeing stuff sometimes and I be like, why I didn't think to sell nothing like that? Because I've been, I've been doing it. That Loom deodorant. Let me tell you what you use. First of all, that stuff expensive. What you use is... Now, you don't put the deodorant in your damn vagina nothing. What you do is... I have one deodorant for my underarms. And I have one deodorant for, like, you know, my intimate, like, areas on my body. So, what you do is... Because, you know, like, when you... When you if your thighs touch... <laughs> If you think, okay, and your thighs rub, your thighs touch, they own each other all day, where you sit down and it's those creases in between that crease where your vagina, well, your, um, yeah, where your vagina is and where your thigh meets that crease right there, put some deodorant right there. But baby, all you do is... Put you a little, do you, and when I tell you it works so good, y'all, you only need a little bit. Sometimes if you don't smell like fresh or whatever, it's just like, because you've been sweating down there. Um, or if you take your panties off, we're going to take, be candid. If you take your panties off and it smell, it could smell musty because you've been sweating and you've been sitting down or something like that. Or you've been outside walking. You won't, it won't be no smell, y'all. 
I don't be having no smell. No smell. It don't smell musty. Like, this works. Just put a little bit, little swipe on the one crease. Little swipe on the other crease. Put a little bit in between your thighs, like where it touch. Don't put nothing too close to your coochie hole or nothing like that. Um, And I have a very sensitive kitty cat. And I've never had any issues. And what else you do is... You put you one little swipe, a little bit, little deodorant, put a little swipe in the crack of your, crack your ass, baby. You're going to be smelling fresh, 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 fresh all day long. I'm just saying, I'm just telling y'all the truth. I'm telling y'all what I be doing. It works for me. Don't be telling me. Ah, what the doctor say? I'm telling y'all what worked for me. Okay. And I've been doing this for years. All right. So yeah, put a little... Put a little deodorant down there and it's going to work. Y'all ain't gonna handle none of them little smells where it's gonna smell fresh and all that kind of stuff. You're gonna be smelling good and ready. You gotta be ready whenever. Cause sometimes, like if you wanna get intimate with Bay or whatever, sometimes you ain't gotta you ain't gotta take no little hub ass or you ain't got time. Sometimes you just like spontaneous in the moment. It's and who knows? He might wanna just go down there and i don't know but yeah that's all i'm saying just don't put a whole bunch just put a little bit in it little goes a long way cotton swabs q-tips whatever make sure that y'all cleaning back of y'all ears and cleaning your ears period uh put a little peroxide on there or whatever um yeah because sometimes people forget to do that i do this every day it's just part of my routine the back of your crease this crease where your ears all of that make sure you clean it clean it really good um and all up in your ears first of all y'all will somebody hug you or kissing on your neck or anything like that and they smell the back of your damn ears or inside your ear and it they smell like high dog water that's not ladylike that ain't that ain't good for nobody shoot no man either clean your ears or whatever every day and you guys i get a lot of comments about my teeth everybody be like a lot of people always ask me how my teeth are so white i don't get um i don't get no professional whitening uh services or anything like that you know a long 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 time ago i did try some crest white strips it was like the off brand or whatever those things hurt your gums like they have your teeth sensitive as hell and they really like hurt your gums and they like turn my gums like a weird color like i don't know i don't fool with them strips no more this i had a bad experience with them and i didn't even get through the whole of seven days so i'll just tell you what i use and um so this is what i brush my teeth with this is the crest uh 3D white. That's all I really use is 3D white. 3D white, baby. It works. Uh, 3D white. And of course, you brush your teeth twice a day. Um, but 3D white, you guys, make sure that you also floss. A lot of people don't, but I use these clackers. These be a dollar at the Dollar Tree. And I take these on me with me on vacation and everything. Especially if your teeth are really close. Like a lot of my teeth are really close. You have to. Stuff can get stuck in there. Like, you have to use, like, some type of floss or whatever. And, um, what else I use? I think this has a lot to do with why my teeth are so white. Um, I haven't been doing it lately, but I used to do this all the time. But I just started back again. This has a lot to do with why my teeth are so white. Peroxide, y'all. Peroxide, peroxide, peroxide. Um, gargle with peroxide. After you brush your teeth, you can gargle with peroxide um, and you can like mix it with a little water. You don't need a whole bunch, but it whitens, you guys. I didn't even do it for whitening effects, but clearly it had some great effects on my teeth. And it's just good to, it's good for your gums and just keeping everything healthy. And my, um, what is it, my mouth rinse, I use a Therabreath. You can get these from Walmart. You can get these from Walgreens. I have no, they are cheaper at Walmart than Walgreens. I think more people using them. I've been using it for like a couple years, but I think more people know about them because a lot of times they be sold out. 
You can get this on Amazon too. They be a good price on Amazon. But at Walgreens, they be kind of expensive. Um, but this works so good, way better than Sco Listerine. That Listerine really be oh. I used one that was like really, really strong. It had peeled the inside of my mouth. I was like, what the hell is this? Damn, uh, antifreeze or something. But yeah, that this right here works really well morning and night before you go to bed. Mm hmm Help with like morning breath and all that kind of stuff. And it's a bomb. Oh, let me tell you guys what else. Another thing that I use when you use the number two or whatever ladies or when you on your monthly cycle use some wipes but it's very important because they have so many wipes and they be saying organic wipes aloe and this and that no baby you need make sure that it says even if it says hypoallergenic make sure it says fragrance free because they will have hypoallergenic on there and it still be fragrance in there it has to say fragrance free you guys make sure you have some wipes to um, keep everything clean you know we got a lot of folds and creases and all that kind of stuff mm -hmm. another thing about keeping yourself your ph balance um well keeping your ph balanced is the boric acid pills i talked about that in one of my amazon videos but you can make the pills yourself and um shoot if you have a sensitive vagina sometimes after your period you might your ph might be off use one after that sometimes it's like if you having sex or sometimes like use one after that it depends on everybody's body but those board acid pills really really work okay and i've been using those for years as well so those are going to keep you very very fresh okay um thank you guys for watching my video and let me know what tips and tricks and hacks or whatever y'all use to stay nice and fresh you know you gotta stay ladylike and smelling good and fresh you know um thanks for watching make sure that you like this video make sure that you subscribe make sure that you share this video you know remember that beauty begins the moment you start to be yourself have a great day Bye bye